Yeah, you know, for mountaineers, I think there's always an allure uh, to climbing Everest, whether it's the first time, whether it's the 11th time, it's the highest peak in the world. It's always gonna challenge us. So, you know, why come to Everest the 11th time? Uh, I was given this amazing opportunity to be a part of the first ascent team, and I deliberated long and hard of why I should be here, and I decided that the challenge was still there, the intrigue, being part of this team, and I also decided that I wanted to try again without supplemental oxygen. I'd rather fail without oxygen than succeed using oxygen. It's been 22 years since I've seen Everest from the south side. It hasn't gotten any smaller. I was here in 1987, didn't make the summit, got to 27,000 feet. This time I'm back uh, for a little unfinished business. Um, but some things need to line up. The route, the weather, my health. I'm gonna give it everything I've got, but I'm also gonna maintain a reasonable margin of safety. Uh, the summit's super important to me, but even more important is getting back to my family. I'm here as a First Ascent team member. And last year I was fortunate enough to summit Mount Everest as a guide, and it just solidified how much I love high altitude mountaineering. It's something I do professionally, and I do it because of the camaraderie with the people, the beautiful places you get to travel, and focusing on a long-term goal and the challenge of doing that every single day. And this year I've decided that I'm gonna go for a, a bit of an extra challenge and I'm gonna attempt to climb without the use of supplemental oxygen. And I'm always asked why Everest or why this particular trip. The reason is as much why I've chosen my whole life to work out in the mountains and to work with people and uh, to become a professional mountain guide. Erica Doring, I'm guiding, and we've worked together before. We worked together on Denali last year, and in fact, uh, helping me to guide last summer on Denali was Seth Waterfall, and Seth's gonna be uh, helping me on this Mount Everest climb, and together we're gonna hope to get Erica as high as she deserves to go. If I were to do this, I would be the youngest uh, American person to do this. Um, although that, that's not really why I'm here to acquire that title. I'm just, uh, I'm here to climb with everyone else and uh, try to make the effort as best possible. And if for some reason I don't make it on this trip, then I have years ahead of me of climbing that I hope to continue. Maybe I'll return someday. I'm Seth Waterfall, heading into Everest Base Camp to climb Mount Everest with the big guns, Dave Hahn, Pete Whitaker, and Ed Viesters. Can't imagine a better group to be here with on my first trip to the Himalayas. As you can see, walking into Mount Everest, one of the most beautiful walks in the world, so it's a, I suppose you'd call it a fringe benefit, but it's a pretty nice one. 